You'll remember from the previous right line video where we introduced the right line statement, we displayed the answer of 7 and 10 like you can see on the screen now. You must have some sense that, that 7 and 10 are actually variables, so it's a bit artificial to put 7 and 10 as part of the text. So what we want to do is to create some output that says the sum of 7 and 10 is 17. So this video is about what would I put in the right line statement to get that output. The first thing that we notice is that, that in this output, the numbers 7, 10 and 17 are the actual values of three variables, A, B and sum. So we want to display the value of variables on the screen. There are many ways of doing this, but uh, this way has some benefits which we'll get to later on. What you do is you put in, in brackets the sum of 0 and 1 is 2. Notice that the 0, the 1 and the 2 are in squ squirrely brackets. These are called placeholders, so you, you're keeping spaces there to put variables. So the question is which variable should go at 0, which variable should go at 1, and which variable should go at 2. So what we do now is we see, see at, at position 0, the placeholder 0, we want A. At position 1, we want B. And at position 2, we want sum. So after the text, we have a comma, and then we list the variables that needs to go at 0, 1, and 2. So we list A, comma, B, comma, sum. Just to show that, to see that whether you understand this, notice what happens if I say the sum of 1 and 0 is 2. So 1 is the second variable that's listed after the text, in this case b, and 0 is the first variable that's listed. So notice your output now says the sum of 10 and 7 is 17, because 10 is b and 7 is a. So those numbers 0, 1 and 2 indicates how the variables are listed after the text.